I don't know how to phrase this. Is it okay for me to have a baby at this point? Like, I'm 25 years old. Um, and is it really, like, okay? Like, can I manage having a baby at this point? And um, I obviously want this to be a question that you would ask yourself as well. Like, are you ready to have a baby? Like, would you actually manage as a parent? <laughs> YouTubers, my name is Harrison Mkiza. If you're new here, please do the right thing. Please go like, subscribe, and watch the other videos so that you can see what type of channel this is. And uh, please click on the notification bell. It's a bell there, notification, so that you can obviously get notifications when I upload new videos. And if you're a regular, and this is your regular dose of Moments with Harrison, thank you so much for joining me. And thank you for coming back. Thank you also to the 500 people that have subscribed. We have literally started our journey to 1K subscribers. So please tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their friends to obviously subscribe and more importantly please engage guys like the whole point of the contents that i create is to get your engagement so please engage like if you have a story to share around any of the things that i talk about and even if you have like opinions i do want to hear what you have to say um so i'll obviously start asking a little bit more questions and i actually want you guys to engage because i want to hear your stories i want to learn a little bit more about you guys let's get into the video i do think that in society when uh, we're speaking about babies and how lives change after having a baby that in obviously change more than is about Miss Lisa. I don't think that this practice is correct. I think if Kuguti Inganya Skoli is pregnant as Koli and Miss Tiwe a Uma Wenga and Salikai. No Baba na Gasi egg is called a hambi of Funim Sibins, Jango Mama type of thing, because they were in this together. Um whether you're the dad or the mom, like I think moms and dads um, kind of share this responsibility in a sense that if I'm a dad, like if I'm going to go out and bowl with my friends, right, and before I buy the bowl calls, I need to obviously make sure So when you ask yourself, am I ready to have a baby? You're not asking because you're a mother. When I'm not asking if you're ready to carry the baby. No, no, no. Am I ready to have a baby? Because people need to be responsible for their babies. First of all. It's not important to me, Uguti, at what age do you have your baby? Um, because for me, more than anything, it's just like a state of you being ready to have a baby. For example, I could say to you, you can't have a baby when you're 15 years old, but Utolu Uguti, you are from a rich family and you can afford to have your baby. So whomst am I to tell you that you can't have your baby when your baby will be provided for here on earth? You know what I mean? So for me, it's really just immaterial. It's a matter of readiness. So see, are you ready? Not only financially, like mentally as well. Like, are you ready? Age comes with experience. And this is something that we cannot run away from. There's a certain maturity that comes with age. And really, honestly and truly, there's a certain maturity that comes with raising a child. Yeah, well um there is a there's an amount of selflessness that comes with being a parent do you really have those skills of sacrificing of being of of of, of putting somebody first before you children are a necessity guys let's not you know let's let's not play around children are needed because um we need generations to take after us right so uh, the economy needs young people that are going to come into the economy and and drive it and keep it going so that a country can be stable i strongly believe in the power of minds right i think some of the problems that we have as human beings today we are not necessarily going to be able to sort them out but our children are going to be able to sort them out and in order for those problems to be sorted out like honestly a uh, the children need to be born so that they can think of the ideas and they can think of the solutions to the problem. Like, think Einstein. Where would we be if Einstein wasn't born? Having a baby, it really directs you. You focus a little bit more. And you Once you have a baby, like, I'm not even going to lie, especially if you literally encourage to do better. Like, um, if you're doing your master's and whatever, 
and if you are thriving in your business so funa no mawenga nyako a thrive so that you can both equally contribute to having your baby and really that's really incredible because children are able to just bond to people and if ni bambi senegal and ni motivatana correctly you guys can literally take it to the moon take it to the stars babies just add so much meaning to your life they are fun they've got an incredible sense of humor they're so stupid <laughs> So stupid, you know, but their personalities shine out. And as you raise your baby, you literally live out your childhood and you you literally get to see the world in through their eyes when they begin to learn how to talk, when they begin to learn how to speak. It's just it's just irreplaceable, you know. Um it's just a feeling that is that money that money cannot even buy. I'd actually like to hear from you. What are some of the benefits of having a baby that you can just think of at the top of your head and also share some of your experiences like what are some of the benefits of having a baby focusing on the benefits doesn't mean that we neglect the cost factor of it and the reality of having a baby the reality of having a baby is and i'm going to like keep it to above 98 with you. I'm going to keep it 100, right? 80% of the time, 90% of the time. The quality of life that you give to your baby or that you introduce your baby to literally it uh, determines a lot. Yeah, well, for example, children that are born into poverty have more chances of staying in the poverty than those that were not it's no secret that children learn from their parents and literally children become who they are because of where they are what you are now what did inspire a child because your child will literally replicate everything that you do so if you are a lawyer trust me your child at one point is going to want to be you you know so think about it Are you ready? Are you ready to lead? Are you leading by example? Kon mundo ga fun gubo when that is your child. One of the things that I always ask my children um in the first day of school is ngiya babuzu ukuthi uhlala no bayekhaya and I invest a lot of time in asking them about their parents because there are certain patterns and certain behaviors that are imminent in certain in certain children that come from certain types of backgrounds and have certain parents. For example, um I know that when I have a parent teacher meeting, this these are my experiences. Oguti the parents that will come to the parent teacher conferences will be the older parents and the younger parents don't necessarily come in. And I have noticed that the children that actually have older parents or older um or grandmothers or whatever um they are actually a little bit more articulate right they come to school with homework they do their homework they about me before i shout at a child before i discipline a child for not doing homework i ask oguti why is your homework not done did you not understand in class did you not ask them to help you at home and most of the time the child will say oguti i didn't understand and there was nobody at home to help for me it just kind of says that maybe when we have children at a young age we are not necessarily always there to watch them grow and to help them grow because we one are still growing on our own and two we have to make ends meet for our kids so we often have to make sacrifices such as do i stay home and help my kid or do you know Oh I I just need to pant a million pant was a kube kona singwa la endle ningangnyami kwazi ukuthi whereas if you had been a bit older you would have probably had a career and like a career like a 9 to 5 where you could then be able to I'll, I'll be home at 5 and I'm going to help my kid with the homework this is not necessarily true for everyone but I have observed in some instances you know what I mean I'm not saying don't have babies at a young age I'm just saying this is another point to consider The type of parental situation literally affects the academic life of your child. The ask yourself, una you any patience? You go find this woman to one plus one every single day of your life. And guys, having a baby requires unprotected sex. Because South Africa more. Are you sure that is that kind of behavior? 
Are you sure that is the kind of behavior you want to you want to behave like? Are you sure? But for me, really just raising a child boils down to finances. Uh, it boils down to the environment and to your circumstances. Oguti, uh, do you have the finances? Unago, do you have money to buy food for the child? Do you have money to buy clothes for the child? Do you have money to provide shelter for the child? Do you have money for water, electricity? Do you have money for school? Do you have money for trips? Do you have money for entertainment for the child? Do you have money for data for the child? Do you have the money, Papa? Do you have the money? You know what I mean? I can tell you now that clearly my daddy did not have money for education for me because he didn't pay a cent towards my education. And that's not a lie, that's a fact. So now you must ask yourself those questions, Wuti. Do you have it the money, Papa? And even though your child might turn out fine, but it's going to be a burden on other people if you don't if if the answer to this question is yes, if the answer to this question is no. Because like honestly, Kengoku, if you don't have money to take your child to school, who must take it to school? Who must pay? Who? What quality of education is your child going to get? Because let's be honest, let's be honest, let's be honest. Like I ain't saying, but I'm just saying that Okfundisinganyako in a public school, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's good. I mean, I, I teach at a public school and hey, Fana, I am a state-of-the-art teacher, but I'm not even gonna lie. Like, my kids, Michael House says hi. Do you have money for medical aid? For me, example, nah, right? I only got into medical aid when I started my job. I started working, you know, even Petro Zeno, I used to walk to a poly and I used to extract my teeth. Even in a flu, I used to walk to the clinic, get them job. You know, those are all of the things that you need to think about. If your baby falls ill, if your baby has like a terminal illness, how are you going to manage it? You know what I mean? Very stressful. Guys, I can just stressful jungle kulelu ingani like yo. Maybe my sister, um, when I was still living at home and my sister had a baby, me and my mom practically raised my sister's baby. Shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out. I remember, even though the child was on medical aid, my sister's child was on medical aid, Tina, we would wake up with three extent. Like, I remember I was writing my grade 11 exams, right? And Inga Nyasekaya was Esbelela. I literally used to stress call any guess better than Giona Gingale, Kufiguma, Gihambe Gekai, Sishinjan, because it's better than the Milibin Mundozo Inag, you know? And that was taxing. Ellen, Ellen, are you ready? Are you ready? The type of setting that your child grows in will determine the quality of your child's life. If you live Kuforum, Niba of fifteen Gulo Forum, Nilwa, Nibangi Singwa. I'm telling you now, chances are your child is going to be influenced by that type of lifestyle and it means that the environment that you're raising your child in is literally enabling certain behaviors in your child and maybe I don't know if it's important to you, but maybe your child could also grow up to replicate these behaviors. These behaviors are not necessarily bad behaviors, but they're not really ideal. I'm not even, I'm not even gonna try to do that. I'm not even gonna try to do that with you. Your lifestyle. Yeah, you in the lifestyle ya king gun. For example, uma wena u u lifestyle like I'm saying in the career, okay bo. Uma wena u at a point in your life where you are still trying to break ground into your career. Ure denu uba nenga nevetu. Ozo wazi inu kusuge saitin. Kutiwa, inga nishuwe imoto. Ozo ilanda. Ozo wazi? Ozo wazi in. Ozo wazi. All the time. Ya wan? In danger. Oguti, ikareya ya kia kvumela inu kutu uti gine parent teacher conference. Ya kvumela in kareya ya kia all of those things. How are you going to protect your child from the big bad world? 
How? Do you have a plan around that? Emotionally, how are you going to protect? Do you even have the emotional intelligence to raise your child and protect it from the world? Do you? Do you really? Do you? Do you really? Do you have the patience? Do you? Do you? Do you really? Raising a baby and having a baby and actually just raising a child is one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. And it's really, really challenging. It's heartbreaking. It's it's challenging. It's heartbreaking. It's 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 extra. It literally stretches you. Um, but they say, you know what? If I could do it 555 times, I actually would because it's just such a precious experience. And I understand where that comes from. Really, like nothing matches the feeling of having a baby and fathering a baby and mothering a baby and just growing somebody up. It is an incredible feeling and nothing in the world, regardless of the of the challenges and the contextual realities and the shortfalls and the shortcomings and whatever. It's a beautiful thing and babies are literally a blessing from God. And so it's really not all that bad. Thank you so much for watching. Um, let's do this again in our next video. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Thanks, bye!